Hello everybody, Red Game Master here, and today we are in Subnautica. Um, as you guys can see, we are not anywhere near where we are at. In fact, for those that don't know, we are actually inside of the Aurora. Um, so I did a recording, or at least I thought I was doing a recording. I got to this point, and by the time I got back out and everything and went to go and edit it, I realized that... The um, video file had been corrupted, and unfortunately, because I believed that it was done, I had saved over my save. In fact, actually, I don't... No, see, there isn't even a way to make a extra save, so unfortunately, you guys missed the part where I got into here, which actually wasn't that hard. It was just mostly avoiding a, a, a leviathan, but that wasn't too bad, because he mostly stayed low in the water. And then getting in here, which I'm sure you guys have seen many other YouTubers do. Wow, that's some serious lag right there from the fire. I also managed to get a few things just to go over it quickly. Mostly everything here. Sorry, should turn that off. I got some more pa batteries and some more power cells, as well as a few fire extinguishers. I got a pressure compensator upgrade for our sea moth. It'll also work in the prawn. And speaking of prawn. As you guys can see here, let me see, 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 I got the prawn suit thing. Uh, there was one here, one there, one lying on the floor, and one, I think, like right here. All I had to do was, you know, kind of grab it. I can scan it from a distance. So, on to the other thing that we're here going to do here today. Ah, this place really got lit up from what I remember seeing before. Uh, just so you guys know, I am doing a little bit of a let's play on my own just to make sure that I'm showing you guys useful stuff and not just wasting your time. Oh, that was faster than I thought it would go. Okay. Lots of stuff falling. Down here is where we gotta go. Aurora, T minus six minutes. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. Please find survival solution. ALTERRAHQT plus 8 out to any survivors of the starship Aurora. If you're hearing this, we will do everything in our power to get you home. A rescue mission would take years to reach you out there, but we think we've got a better solution. ALTERRAHQT plus 8 out. We received your environmental data and we've sent you a blueprint for a specially designed ship we think will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. We calculate that you can find the requisite materials in situ. We'll be short to static. T plus 8 hours. Communications relay offline. Okay, well that was new. I don't remember that being in here last time I was here, but it has been a while. Trying to conserve that because I I already wasted one. <clears throat> another battery. So this is another area you can get into. I couldn't go in this way because I forgot the uh, pulse cannon. So, all right. So then I huh, I must have gone the wrong way. Let's see what else is around here. Nope. I have to have a code for these. Let's see what I got in my data bank. Operation logs. No. No. Nope. No. Well, I don't quite know how the code to get in there. Maybe I just missed the... Oh. Okay, I think that actually might be it because it says lab access. So let's get some air. 
Ah, 6483. That's it. I remember seeing in some older versions this was actually glitched. 6483. Eight, there we go. This was actually glitched, and neither of these doors were here, so it made it easier for other people to get in. Disinfected water. Oh, I got a. Oh wait, I got a blueprint. Okay, I should already have had that. Stasis rifle, Cyclops. Uh -uh. So that's a little bit odd. Okay, well, I went the wrong way. So let me just get a little bit more air. For some reason, it's all really loud down here. Somewhere around the electricity, which should be a technical impossibility, but what are you going to do? Ah, loud. Loud, loud, loud. Jeez. Alright. For those that may not be aware of it... <clears throat> sorry. Caution. Mild dehydration detected. Oh, I need to put a battery in that. There we go. For those that aren't aware, what I'm trying to do is find the way to the engine room. Because, uh, as you guys know, one of the reasons why I couldn't get over here right away was because there was a severe amount of radiation. Oh, let's take that, because we're definitely going to need a fire extinguisher later. And I needed something to get me... I, I needed uh, this rad suit in order for me to be able to get over here. Cheese it. Dang it. More cheese. There we go. So, anyway... <clears throat> I'm trying to find the engine so that I can repair it. And we can hopefully take care of the uh, radiation so we can go around without a radiation suit and switch it out for something else, like a still suit or something. Uh, speaking of that, though. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. And that's 75. No, I'm not that desperate for food quite yet. But, since I have so many, I am going to use one of those med packs. Vending machine. They even made this thing useful. From what I remember hearing, they actually made it so that this will give you a, a nutrient block every once in a while, I think. Oh, that was... Oh. Well, just for looks, I guess. Might as well get everything we can, right? No, I can't do anything with that door. All right. Let's see what's the re what's the rest of this way. Oh, oh water. Wow, they actually. Last time I was here, they hadn't stocked this place. That's actually pretty cool. But I don't need all that water, so. No, no. PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, let's see if we can get our way through here. Ooh. Another battery. And a replacement for the med kit we just used. That and that. The batteries are always going to be useful, especially since I can combine two batteries and make a. Uh... Oh, grab that. <clears throat> anyway, especially since I can combine the batteries to make a power cell. Power cells hold a lot of power and are very useful for, you know, vehicles. You know. 
don't see anything over there of use. What do we got here? All right, last scan. How's my inventory looking? A little bit full, but let's be sure to grab that battery. And that med kit, even though med kit is the last thing we really need at this point. Oh, what's this? Oh, crud, is there another one that I'm missing or something? Uh, crud. Maybe it's in one of the ones we just got. Sweet offer. Code is 1869. Let's see if that works on any of these. 1869. Not on that one. 1869. Ah, worked on this one. Okay, what do we got in here? Cap. More water. Another med kit. Inventory's full. Not really. Well, what do we have here? Come on. All, all the good things in life are commodities we trade, love, just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair exchange of value, be that support, motivation, challenge, warning. Nothing good is ever for free. If every physical physical good in the galaxy came from a single supplier, that would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Personal relationships are the same. It's important for people to get what they need from multiple sources. Further, if someone finds a better source of the goods they require, they should be free to add it to or replace their existing supplier. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I don't know much about this dude, but... Okay, I'm going to pick that up just because I want it. It's kind of adorable. Arcade George toy. Alright. Huh? Are there any other PDAs that I'm missing? Because I want to get into this room. Huh. Let's... Hold on, guys. I'm going to check through some of these things. I must be missing a data pad around here somewhere. I'm going to take a quick look around, guys, and see what I can find. I must be missing something.
Huh. Well, guys, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the pad that lists the code on this door. That lists the code for this door. I tried all the ones that I have, and to just sit here and just keep doing it would be kind of stupid. None of these are are clear enough to be able to tell if there's a code in it or something. None of that. Uh -uh. No, I've really got nothing. So, I guess... For now... I'm... Ooh, okay, that was a bad idea. I'm gonna start heading back this way and see if I made a wrong turn and hopefully I can get us to the engine room. Or the reactor room or whatever you want to call it. So I guess I'll probably see you guys in a little bit. there it's not ah there we go finally out of the ground it took a little bit and I ended up accidentally glitching into there all right um what? no I'm not crouching Cyclops power efficiency module definitely gonna need that for later at maximum tolerable level that's why I'm here Oh no, wait, that's the welder. I need the repair tool. Alright, so I'm gonna run around here and fix up these. And once I've got all of these fixed up, I will be right back, guys. Ow. Nutrient 
container breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Oxygen. Container breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Alrighty. There we go. High energy particle containment field restored. Auto decontamination sequence initiated. Aquatic radiation levels are estimated to return to safe levels in T minus three days. Ten hours. Okay, so in just a little bit over three days. We can take off this rad suit and we'll be safe. That was, I guess you could say the secondary thing I wanted to do while I was here. The main was one was obviously get our, get that, uh, not Seamoth, the, uh, dang it. <sighs> Prawn suit, dang it. All right. Well, I'm going to look around for a little bit longer. I still haven't managed to find anything that would help me with the code for that place. I, ow. It's my hope that those of you that do watch this will leave a comment or something letting me know either what the code is or where I can find it. so that I can go and get it and show you guys what it actually does or what's in there because I don't know either. The last time I was in that place there wasn't really much to it. There was the cafeteria area but that was about it. So I will see all of you guys next time. Well, everyone, that's it for today. As always, uh, leave a like and please subscribe if you'd like to see more. And, of course, leave a comment with any suggestions you have or something that might help me in the future. So, once again, I wish you all have a wonderful day.